Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I wanted to talk to you about mining Cinevate. Uh, more importantly, we're going to talk about the algorithm itself. So, so the algorithm is the X25X algorithm. It's a chain of 25 algorithms, obviously. That's what the name dictates. Uh, you know, like 16R, which has 16, X11 has 11, uh, X22I had 22, so on and so forth. Uh, but we're going to go into a deep dive into the algo in just a moment. But I just want to let you know this overall video is to kind of showcase or give you my performance numbers with most of the cards I have. I got the 1070, 1660 Ti, 1060, 980 Ti, 1080 Ti, RTX 2080. And then I did throw an AMD graphics card in mix uh, with the RX 590, which should be relative to the performance found in the RX 580. So more importantly, let's go ahead and start going into the algorithm. So here's the white paper of the X25X algorithm, which I'll have linked in the description below. You can also find it on their website, uh, Cinevate.io. Um, now I'm just going to go over a couple points. I have highlighted some sections, but I'm just going to give uh, maybe like a generalized, generalized summary. If so, if you want to check it out, definitely hit the link in the description. Um, the X25X algorithm is a chain of 25 algorithms, as we mentioned. Uh, X22 has 22, 16 has 16, so on and so forth. If you look at the RAM usage per nonce here, uh, we have 1536 compared to 256 on the X22i. Um, and the biggest thing about this algorithm and uh, the reason why the Cinebate team and community is pushing it um, is to be ASIC or FPGA resistance. They do have uh, some verbiage in there regarding quantum computing resistance as well um, because you know just like what happened with Zcash and and some of those coins right uh, there was an ASIC coming out for it uh, the community was really hoping that Zcash and uh, some of the others would fork away or come up with a new algorithm or utilize a new algorithm so that way these ASICs would not be able to mine that currency but they didn't and so Zcash which is was one of the top coins to mine at that time uh, gradually dropped down the ranking uh, so as far as profitability for the normal GPU miner uh, it's not profitable anymore so being ASIC resistant is important and and Cinevite and most of these algos like you know MTP Grin which I think is actually going to be doing a fork to new algo soon um, just to continue the, the resistance I guess you could say um, you're seeing a trend as I mentioned in a past video that these communities or these organizations uh, in the crypto space want to have the power in the hands of the people not a centralized unit so we don't want to keep it centralized it's the whole point that Satoshi uh, you know went with the Bitcoin project is we want to return the power to the people instead of having it under one government one uh, individual one corporation one whatever right we don't want to be centralized we want to be decentralized so they improve the algorithm uh, there's lower power consumption um, there's also uh, increased memory requirements by 24 times so basically just just think of it this way if I have to manufacture 2,000 units and I want to make these units or these ASICs uh, able to mine a certain coin uh, at a, re a really good hash rate and good good efficiency um, and that algorithm forks then those machines are no good to me so I create a new machine but if I go to create this machine and it's gonna cost me more to build it or manufacture it then I may be less likely to do so um, so the chip the the memory requirements so to speak would increase the the, the cost of manufacturing um, the increase in size of the chip will also increase the, the manufacturing cost. So it's kind of a deterrent. Now, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It's just a bigger deterrent. You know, rather than try to go make it, uh, 2,000 units of, of X25 ASICs, um, I, you know, I could go make ASICs for another algorithm or coin that could be profitable and, and customers and clients may want to buy. So it's kind of a deterrent. It doesn't say that it's not possible, right? It's ASIC resistant, not ASIC proof. There's a big difference. Um, uh, X25X also has a new shuffle stage working with 1536 uh, bytes buffer um, to prevent multiple optimi uh, optimizations overriding the purpose of a bigger buffer and also to circumvent malicious activities from private miners seeking to gain unfair advantages over honest workers. 
Also, this indirectly promotes the writing of clean code for algorithms so that the open source code is more valuable, both in terms of quality and hash rate. And the quantum resistance part here, let's a uh, growing concern of crypto sphere also related to centralization, um, w which potential presents which potentially presents even greater threat than ASICs and FPJs is possibly breaking the hashing algorithms so as quantum computing. Uh, access to this hardware could permit huge efficiency advantages over the mining majority, manifesting the likelihood of extreme 51% attack being carried out on the network, right? So we don't want FPGAs, ASICs, or quantum computers being able to take advantage of the network. Uh, so here's some of the algorithms. Some of these we already seen. Some of these I have not seen. If you have seen it somewhere, let me know what uh, algo it's in. Uh, for example, uh, Swift TX, which I will also have a link in the description on more about that. And um, I'm not. I'm probably not saying this correctly. Swift SwiftX or uh, Strebog, Panama. I don't recall that. Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know what algo it's in. Um, Lane, I think I've seen. But most of these algos are what we've seen before, right? Whether it's the X22Y or X16R or one of those uh, X17, so on and so forth. So we got 25 chains of algorithms in this overall environment, making this algorithm more ASIC resistant or FPGA resistant and also uh, including quantum resistance. Now the uh, Swift and SwiftX um, link that I was talking about. I'll have that in the description. Uh, so let's get into the mining aspect of it. There's a new miner out for T-Rex miner. It's uh, version 0 0.12. Wild Rig is uh, 0 0.17.9. When I did my original testing, um, for just to give you an example here, so we have the 10 ATI, and it's only getting 2.3 mega hashes, and that was on the original um, T-Rex miner. All right. So mining this algorithm is kind of the same as mining Ravencoin, right? So let's just compare this real quick. So in compared to the previous miner, so update your miners, we're getting about 6.8 mega hashes on a 10 ATI. So 2.3 to 6.8, update your miners, very important. Um, now as you can see, look at my clocks here. So on a 10 ATI, um, usually on the NVIDIA cards, I, was, I had the core set about 100. I know you could push 120, 150, and so on and so forth, but with a TDP, look at my TDP. It's 65%. I know some people run 72, 75. The 1080 Ti I keep at 65. The 2080 and all the other cards keep around 75, 72, especially the 980 Ti because that thing is power hungry and it's not the most efficient card to mine with. Um, but it does get significant hash rate depending on the algorithm, similar to either 1070 or 1660 Ti. Uh, but the performance that you should get I have the memory set to zero some people would argue especially mining x16r that you should uh, drop the memory all the way down now uh, the reason you would do that is heat right reduce the heat burn in um, you know some algorithms if you drop the memory down but you boost up the core you get a better hash rate and then some algorithms like dagger we really just set the core at a certain rate and then increase the memory as, as far as we can and that will get us a better hash rate. So each algo is different. For X25X, I would say either uh, bump up the core into, you You know, obviously you can't, once you hit that TDP mark, you can't, you set it at 200, you're not gonna go past a certain clock. So set it, um, you know, maybe 100, 120 at the core, and then zero on the mem or negative 400. Here's what I got for negative 400 on the mem. So we got about 6.833, 6.822, somewhere in there when I set it at 0 6.846 6.84 so we went up a little bit right but when I now with the um, the main mining rig the 980 Ti this is where this is where dropping the memory would be more beneficial so as you can see it's at 70 now it's a blower style card but dropping the memory dropped it down from 72 to 70 so there's an example of why you would do negative memory because it really cares about uh, the memory that's actually uh, built into the card not so much the memory clock um, well the memory clock does benefit a little bit it, it gives you a better hash rate but it really cares more about core clock so you just gotta fine-tune it what I found is either 120 100 core and I know I'm repeating myself or zero or negative mem will kinda give you or yield you the best results um, if you have a different setting, definitely let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Uh, this is just some testing that I had to do. I did some old testing. Uh, I filmed a video on it. Then the new miner and everything came out. So I had to redo all the testing. 
so we can see that the 2080 uh, about 6.5 mega hashes the 1660 ti about 3.4 mega hashes the 1070 is around 3.8 this one zotac down here that's at 3.6 i don't know that's an oddball guy I don't know what's wrong with it. There were two, the two Zotacs are manufactured in two different plants, but that's neither here nor there. The 980Ti is on par with the 1660 as far as hash rate, 3.5, 3.4, but look at the power draw difference. 82 watts or 90 watts compared to 180. So the 980Ti is not really efficient at mining, but in this current market, it's still profitable, uh, even with my electricity cost. The 1060 was at 2.8 mega hashes which all of this coincides pretty much with uh, what we see here at what to mine dot com so 1080 ti there it is 6.9 6.8 so, so so forth but they're using I believe a higher they're getting similar power draw but there's the clocks and and so this is just estimation mining calculators whether it's this this website or another one are just estimation so you need to fine-tune yourself uh, if we look at the uh, 2080 we're right on par. We're actually a little bit above, you know, 6.5 instead of 6.3 and so on. 1060, 2.8 instead of 2.4. So um, for NVIDIA, zero memory, plus zero mem or negative, and then core 100 to 120 depends on your graphics card. Like my 1660 Ti doesn't like to go above plus 80 on the core for some reason. It might just be my card. My I may have not won the silicon lottery. Um, silicon lottery, excuse me. Um, but let's move on to the RX 590. So here it is at stock. Uh, we're getting about one, uh, 11, what is that? 1.1 mega hash or 11, 1180 kilo hash stock. Uh, but then when we up the memory to 2300 instead of 2000, we're getting 1080 so that didn't do us any good but then when we do 1560 on the core and 2200 on the mem 1160 what was that compared to this one 1180 so we lost about 20 um, 20 hashes but we got up we got up a little bit and, and power draw is more important right so we got 88 so this is 1160 that's 88 versus stock of 110 around 110 so uh, it's you know it's all about hash rate and power efficiency uh, I wouldn't really mind Cinevate on an AMD graphics card because if we calculate it uh, especially at my ridiculous electrical weight 12 cents an hour which uh, or kilo kilowatt hour um, it's not really profitable uh, Cinevate has been climbing up towards the top of the calculators uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video or at least remake it because again I recorded in the past But then that was those original hash rates I was talking about and I had to redo all my testing and everything uh, So it's not as profitable as the top coins I would say but it's, it's climbing up there It has been bouncing up and down again any coin that's at the top more than likely will, will go down like um, Bitsend has you know been number one then dropped down to like number 15 So it's really up to you. You really want to mine a coin that you support the project um, I do support Cinevate. I, I, I do have um, some assets in Cinevate. Um, I don't mine it 24-7, uh, but as an altcoin that you may want to keep your eye on, um, that's something you, you may be interested in. I just wanted the main purpose of this video, guys, was just to show you the actual performance that I was getting on my uh, NVIDIA graphics cards, the 1070s, 1080, Ti, 2080, 1060, 1660 Ti, and then, of course, the RX 590. Uh, at the tail end there. Here's uh, the current hash rate of the network uh, spread out throughout the pools. That's what I like to see. Decentralized, not centralized uh, because I believe, uh, hopefully Zcoin fixed itself. Nope! Everybody's on two miners. We have 84.6% of the network's hash rate on one pool. Not good. Not saying that, you know, that... <sighs> Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Different story. So, that's my information. I have links to where you can download the latest miners in the description. I have links to where you can learn more about uh, Swift or Swift X, um, as well as the high throughput hardware architecture for Swift and Swift X hash functions in the description. And then, um, yeah, their official website and everything all linked in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry this took a little bit longer than I expected. I just wanted to share my data with you. Definitely hit the like button on the way out. Uh, share the video if you if you can and subscribe for more
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it.